Unlock MLS is the first MLS in the country to launch Matrix's new and greatly improved CMA product. I'm Jack Sellers, and today I'll be walking you through Matrix's powerful new tool. As you can see, I've got my computer right here with me, so let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing when we're doing a new CMA is you're gonna wanna make sure that you are not in classic mode. So when you come over here to working as your name, make sure you are not in classic mode, because if you are, that would take you to the old CMA. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the search, and to get to that new CMA, we're gonna have to go to the new search. So one of the first things that I wanna point out when you come to the new search is the property type. It's gonna be right here to the left. So I'm gonna be doing a residential property. We're gonna be uh, performing a CMA on that. So I'm gonna flip the property type to residential right here. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. The next thing we wanna do is select our statuses. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna select our actives, our pending, and our closed. You'll notice when I hit apply, you're gonna notice the same exact logic as today. So the close is gonna go back from today, back 90 days, and if you want to take that out, maybe adjust this a little to maybe 45 days, whatever to your liking, you can go and adjust that. Now we wanna pick our sub property type. So below here, we'll have our sub property, and this is gonna be a single family residence. So I'm gonna check it off, hit apply, and then now down here, we have more information. We have, um, you can go in and put in your square footage, your built range if you wanna do that. But at this point, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to the map. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to come right here to the magnifying glass to jump to location. What I like to do here is I'm going to put the subject properties address right here and hit enter. The reason that I like to do that is now on the map, I can see where my subject property is. And to make this map bigger, one of the little tips here is you're gonna have these expanders down here for your results and for your map. So if I wanna see my map bigger, I can hit the expander and now we can see our, our map on our page. So the first thing is I know some people like to use your different drawing tools. So right here, you'll notice that if you hit the drop down, we have our radius, rectangle, your polygon, the same ones that you've had. So if you wanna take that radius, you'll simply come over here, click at the subject and you can go out a certain radius, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and hit that eraser and clear out that shape and show you another little tip that I love to do. And that one is working with my layers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come up here to this little icon for layers. We're gonna select that and we're gonna go and open boundaries. When we open up our boundaries, you're gonna notice that we have many different boundaries, including schools, so if you wanna overlay the schools. But I'm gonna show you this little tip here, and this only works with neighborhoods. And I love this little neighborhood overlay, because when you overlay this neighborhood, you're gonna see the different uh, little areas, and it has what I call the easy button. So up here, you're gonna see this little plus button that's a convert the layer to a polygon. So if we click this, that will allow us to come over here and click on the neighborhood area where our subject property is, and it's gonna extract the comps out of there. Now, what if I wanna extract comps out of another area? Well, then we'll simply just go and you're gonna click on that one. And what I found is best practice is you're gonna click and click it again, and then now we can select that area and give it a couple seconds here, and it's gonna pull the comps out of both of these areas, and we can start our CMA. All right, I'm gonna hit this little expander over here and give it a second, there we go. So it looks like we have 26 matches in here. So at this point in time, what I can do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna adjust our close date and I'm gonna take that from 90 and let's go and see what we have with 45 days going back. Let's see, that's gonna take us down to 19 matches. So I think we got a good amount of comps here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit select all and now we're gonna come up here to the top right and click on CMA. Now, one thing I don't wanna overlook is that quick CMA. If you like that quick CMA, remember you have your action items right here where we can pop out that quick CMA. 
But we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the full CMA wizard. So right here, we're going to click on the CMA button. The first thing it's going to ask is to enter that subject property. So I'm going to go ahead and start entering the address. And as you start typing, you can probably look down and it has found that address before you even finish. So I'm going to make sure it's this 9007. Check it off. Here is where I connected or add my contact, who I'm doing this for. And there's those 19 selected listings. Now we're going to hit Create CMA. Okay, the first thing I like to do with my CMA is you're going to see two little arrows over here. This is your CMA details. It is really important to make sure that you click these two arrows to expand out the details. We want to give this CMA a name, so I'm going to properly give it the address. And here, if I want to change the cover photo, I can change it right here. Again, where your contact would be added. Your personal notes, these are any notes that you want to make for your CMA, and these are only for your eyes. So these will not go into the actual CMA. And then it pulled in the remarks, and you can choose to go ahead and um, change the remarks, make it your own, and hit save. And you'll notice now it's given it a name right here. All right, so it's going to default right here to the map. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to click on subject. What we want to do is we want to go down the line from subject, map, comparison, property, full, and summary. So when we start with subject, you'll see all of the details. So we want to make sure that we have the beds and baths, the square footage, make sure all that is correct, make sure that the pen is in the correct spot for the map. And then again, you have your photo, and you can again change it at this point. The uh, last thing that I want to point out is down here at the bottom, you have custom fields. Custom fields is where you're going to add any fields that you may want to adjust by later on. So if you don't see a field here and you want to adjust by it, maybe the number of pawns, then I can add that here and then we can assign a value to it. And then that way we'll have it later on that we can adjust by. So once you come over here, make sure that all your subject details are in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the map. The map, essentially what that's going to do is show us where our subject property is, and then we can see all of our comps. And at this point, I'm going to go through some of my comps. And if I feel it's in another area that I may not like, um, or it's just not that apples to apples at this point, I might say, you know what, I want to get rid of number three. So if you want to delete a comp at this point, you're just going to come right here and hit the little X and it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete? And I'm going to say, yes, confirm, delete comp. So right here, I can also move these comps up or down and change the order by grabbing those six little dots, the six pack, moving them up or down. Okay, so once I'm done here vetting some comps, I'm going to go to comparison. Now comparison, this is where you're going to go to do any kind of adjustments or edit any fields. So right here over to the right, you're going to see a little pencil. If I click that edit fields, that's going to allow me to set the defaults for my fields and turn any fields on or off that I may choose. And then right here is where you set your default. Now after you're done that, make sure you hit the save button. And now the next one is the adjustments. Now you have three different views right here. We have vertical view, horizontal view, which both of these views you can do an adjustment. Now the last view is the photo view. Photo view, you'll notice the adjustment toolbar goes away because you cannot adjust. This is just comparing. You can compare interior pictures, just the bedroom pictures, which is super cool. You can just look at all the bathroom pictures to make sure you got, you know, any kind of updates, upgrades, but we're going to go back to the adjustments. So that's the photo view. So watch this. We're going to start off with the vertical view and I'm going to hit the adjustments. So when you do adjustments on the vertical view, you'll notice when you come down here that you're going to be doing adjustments going down vertically. My favorite part is when we go over here and we change this view to a horizontal view, check this out. When you do adjustments in a horizontal view, what you can do now is you'll see up at the top, you're going to see a field next to it, right? And here, all you have to do is put the amount of the adjustment, the dollar amount of that adjustment. So for example, if a garage space, let's just arbitrarily call it $1,500, you just put the price of the adjustment and boom, it went down and did any adjustments needed right down the line. 
and up oh, we got a two and a half so it, it went ahead and split that adjustment out and this one had a three so it adjusted down so that will go down when you're in the horizontal view and do your adjustments automatically for you so after you're done doing any adjustments the next tab is the property full this one is pretty similar to the map except for instead of seeing them on a map view you're going to see the full property view so i can see the listing the photos the tax the history and what I can do now is I can go through all of my different comps and see all of that detail to make sure that I'm getting those apples to apples, oranges to oranges. So this is where you're really gonna do that due diligence to make sure that you're keeping those comps. And then lastly, when you get to the summary, Right here, you're going to see a linear, um, just kind of where they stand as far as pricing. And then I can also flip this little view to square footed so I can see a linear view where they all fall on my comps as far as square footage. So really at this point, we now are just going to give it a price. So up here, right next to the name, you're going to see the little dollar sign right here. What you're going to do is you're going to click right here on this dollar sign icon. It's going to pop out the pricing. Here you can enter your subject property's price or, and I know a lot of cases, we're going to use a range. So I'll flip that on and then here I can put a range in. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'm going to put in a range. We'll do five and just put in 549.9 and then we'll come over here and let's see, we'll say we'll just go to 579.9. All right, and then any suggested message that you want to put on there why you priced it. And then right here, we're going to hit save. And now we've completed our CMA. Now it's time to personalize it. So over here, I'm going to come over here and hit personalize. So the first thing when you come over to personalize is you're going to see these little eyeballs over here. And if they are turned off, that, that means that those pages are shut off. So to turn the pages on, what you're going to do is you just simply click on that little eyeball and that's going to turn the page on. You can come over here and you can also uh, adjust your pages. So if let's say I wanted price adjustments um, below minimum and max, I'm just going to grab that and I can just rearrange the order right there. Uh, if you want to add any of your own personalized sheets at this point, right here over to the left, you're going to see a little paper icon. If you click on that, here's where you can upload up to five documents to your CMA, so a maximum of five pages per CMA, and you can just click browse and upload and integrate any of your own personal documents. This one will reset it, and then this guy right here, the little floppy disk, will set this as a default. So if I want this to always be my default pages, I'm gonna click that little floppy disk, and that's my default. Now at the end, guys, we're gonna go ahead and I would say change style. So when you go to style, I have my basic and I have my professional. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the professional one, and then I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna click the arrows to hide it, and now, I'm going to go over here and let's take a look at this. So now we can view this with a web format or what it would look like in a PDF format. So you can flip between the two. And then when you hit share, this is my favorite part. When you hit share, before you uh, send this and share it, you can go ahead and hit view presentation. That way you can get a good idea of what that presentation is going to look like. And I wanted to also show you the new AI feature. So some of you, if you want to test this out, what you'll do is you'll go start your CMA from the My Matrix tab. So if you go to the My Matrix tab and you go to My CMAs, you can also start the CMA out this way. So check it out. If I go to New CMA Report, okay, you'll enter in the subject property. So let's say I'm going to do the same address right there. But instead of starting it by finding the comps first, if you start it from the CMA wizard at the beginning like this, you'll put in the subject property, you can add a contact, but right here, you're gonna have this new AI feature that can suggest comps. And check it out, you can suggest up to 50 comps. So I'm gonna set it at 20, and what you do is you just put it at whatever number, hit create CMA, and give it a minute here, and it's gonna go out there, and based off of uh, square footage, beds, and, and you know distance, it's gonna go in, and the 
AI is going to pull in the comps for you, and then you can go ahead and start your CMA this way. And then again, you can go through here, any comps that you don't want, you can delete them out. But this way, the AI has started the comps for me, and then we can start working it from here. So those are both ways that you can start your new Matrix CMA. I hope that info was helpful. As always, please reach out to us at support at unlockmls.com if you have any questions.